10 Freaky and Kinky Things She Wants You To Do In Bed Are you guilty of being vanilla in the bedroom? Here are 10 ways to up the kink factor. For many men, women's sexualities remain somewhat of a mystery. Some may believe that women don't experience sexual desire at all, think that women are dishonest about their preferences, or feel that understanding what women want is an impossible task. As a result, many straight men go through life unaware that numerous women are just as sexually excitable as they are, if not more so, and often have no idea what these women truly desire in bed. There is some truth to the notion that deciphering women's desires can be challenging. This is largely because women's sexuality is often viewed negatively compared to men's. Women who are sexually active are often slut-shamed, whereas men are celebrated for the same behavior. This unfortunate double standard leads many women to be less open about their desires. Why share your kinky fantasies if you've been taught you might be mocked or punished for it? Curiosity about this is completely understandable. That's why I've compiled a list of common female sexual desires, to help men understand that women are often in the difficult position of craving certain things in bed they may not feel they can ask for. Of course, every woman is different, and there's no guarantee that any particular woman will want any of the things listed below, let alone all of them. However, in my experience, these are 10 of the most common desires women secretly have in the bedroom. She wants to talk dirty. Dirty talk is a great way to set the mood or introduce a new, kinkier dynamic in your relationship. Because it's taboo and charged with desire, naughty words and phrases can electrify an otherwise ordinary encounter with your girlfriend. A few carefully chosen four-letter words spoken by you to convey the intensity of the moment, for example, in response to the way she's moving, think, fuck yes, can help push her over the edge. Similarly, a few provocative sentences like, you're such a bad girl, aren't you, can have a strong impact. Pay attention to what she responds to and how she reacts. Some women may love being called naughty names during the heat of passion, while others may be put off by such words. Honest discussions before you get intimate can help you understand which words are off-limits. She wants uncontrollable desire. Feeling desired by the man she loves is incredibly arousing for most women. Expressing your craving for her when she least expects it can intensify her feelings for you. Simple phrases like, I can't stop thinking about you, or, do you have any idea how much you turn me on, can be very effective. Be specific and explicit about your desire, when you stepped out of the shower this morning, I could barely contain myself. I can't wait to get my hands on you tonight. When you have her alone, whisper in her ear all the things you find irresistible about her, her scent, her skin, the way she moves, or her laugh. Combine your words with some respectful squeezes of her thighs, a firm arm around her shoulders or waist, and a passionate kiss. If you're strong enough, pick her up and carry her into the bedroom, or place her on the kitchen counter, your desk, or the bathroom sink. You get the idea. She wants you to use a vibrator on her. Surprising her with a 9-inch dildo while you're both naked in bed is not the best way to introduce a toy or two. If you're new to using sex toys together and unsure of how she'll react, try one of my favorite approaches, sweetheart, I read this article and thought maybe it would be fun to try this. What do you think? A boyfriend who shows his desire to enhance her pleasure by suggesting a toy will likely find her filled with gratitude and possibly eager for more. She wants you to undress her. She undresses herself every day, but how often have you undressed her? There are two ways to approach this, aggressively or gently. If you choose the aggressive route, make sure she's wearing something she doesn't mind tearing, like gym clothes or old jeans. Pull her close by grabbing the fabric of a loose t-shirt. Firmly grasp her backside and slip your fingers into the waist of her yoga pants, pulling them down while smiling at her and kissing her stomach. The desire you show here can help eliminate any self-consciousness she might feel about undressing in front of you. If you prefer a gentler approach, hold her with one arm as you unzip the back of her dress or delicately lift her blouse over her head, kissing her skin as it becomes exposed. Tenderness is key here. 
It conveys love and affection, inviting her to relax into a softer version of passion, which can be just as thrilling as the more intense approach. She wants you to release her inner bad girl. In our society, it's acceptable, or even expected, for men to have multiple sexual partners and explore various sexual acts. Unfortunately, many women are still conditioned to believe that sex is dirty, having multiple partners is bad, and desiring something other than vanilla sex is wrong. However, rougher sex can be very enjoyable for both partners. Some things to try include pulling her hair in a sensual way to show dominance and force. You could reach around while you're in the middle of a makeout session, or if you're already in bed, firmly hold her backside as she positions herself on top of you. She might also enjoy you coming up behind her, slipping a hand around her torso to cup her breast as she faces away from you. Kiss the back of her neck while you do this, and she'll be yours. She wants light bondage and blindfolds. If you've never used a blindfold or tried bondage with her before, proceed with caution. While it's not for everyone, many women fantasize about it and enjoy the freedom that surrendering brings. Blindfolding and bondage can be powerful turn-ons because, besides the element of surprise, they allow one partner to take full responsibility for the sexual experience. Bondage is seductive for many because it creates the feeling of being unable to stop what's happening, even if they wanted to. It plays into the fantasy of being led astray and made to do naughty things by a strong, sexually confident partner. Just remember not to rush her into anything and always prioritize safety. The goal of restraint is to enhance her sexual pleasure. A bit of sensory deprivation, if she's the submissive one, can heighten her body's sensitivity. When she can't see where you'll touch or kiss her next, it can drive her to beg for more. She wants you to go down on her. Most men believe that great sex revolves around their penis being the large, erect star of the show, capable of endless hours of pumping in various positions. However, intercourse alone doesn't often make women orgasm, oral sex does, so men should prioritize using their tongue over their penis. Surprisingly, only 25% of women reach orgasm from intercourse alone. Over 80 years of research, documented in Elizabeth Lloyd's book, The Case of the Female Orgasm, supports this finding. This statistic doesn't vary based on the size or shape of a man's penis, nor on the duration of intercourse. In contrast, the number of women who climax from oral sex is much higher, reaching 81% according to Kerner. This means men need to focus on their partner's pleasure rather than making their time in the bedroom all about them. If you need a little extra help to improve your cunnilingus skills, there's even an app for that. She wants you to suck on her toes. You don't need to have a foot fetish to appreciate a woman's feet. Although toes are not usually considered a particularly erotic area, it's precisely this lack of expectation that can make them so alluring. If, in the heat of the moment, your desire for her is so intense that you take a typically non-erotic part of her body and put it in your mouth, you're expressing your passion in a powerful way. If the idea of putting her toes in your mouth doesn't appeal to you, you can always start with one of her fingers and work your way up, the message of deep desire remains the same. She wants some anal play. Alright, this one definitely requires a prior discussion and her explicit consent before you proceed. However, there's a good chance she might be interested in exploring some backdoor play at some point, whether that's something mild, like using a finger or tongue, or more involved, such as full penetration or using an anal toy. Hygiene is crucial here, so ensure that both of you have showered before getting started. But if you can integrate this into your sexual routine, both of you are likely to find it a rewarding addition. She wants some to have fun in public. Public displays of affection can vary widely, from simple hand-holding and gentle kissing to more intense make-out sessions or even crossing into questionable territory. While some couples find a public kiss thrilling, others may want to push the envelope a bit more. While we don't endorse any illegal or inappropriate public sexual behavior, there are still plenty of ways to have fun within legal limits. Start with safer ideas, such as placing your hand on your girlfriend's but while you're out for a walk, having her leave your place wearing a skirt without panties, or, if you're feeling adventurous, with a butt plug discreetly in place. 
Explore what you both enjoy without judgment or shame, knowing that this process involves some trial and error. Ultimately, open communication, both inside and outside the bedroom, is often the best way to enhance intimacy. Consent is crucial, so it's important to understand her intentions if you think she might be flirting with you. If you're unsure about what she wants, just ask. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.